You're taking me back to the sleepless nights Phone calls and candlelights Those were the things I liked the most And back when we were passing notes in school Spent our summers by the pool Talking about what we'd be when we're grown Well, those were the days You're taking me back you're taking me back When the world was smaller And everything was ours You're taking me back You're taking me back When everything moves slower You're taking me back to better days Late night drive to our favorite hits Burning through a mixed CD we made Just a couple kids nowhere to be Taking time for making memories Living life like we were runaways Yeah, those were the days You're taking me back You're taking me back You're taking me back You're taking me back When everything moves slower You're taking me back to better days oh, oh, oh. So take me back when we were younger And back when we were unafraid
gives this woman to be married to this man? <laughs> Let's bow in prayer. God, we are thankful for your presence with us today. We thank you for the loved ones who have gathered to witness and celebrate the beginning of a new family. We thank you for the blessings of the day and for your son Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. You may be seated, but please turn off the sound on your phones. Maddie and Randy would like to thank you all for being here with them today to share in this commitment that they will soon make to one another, to congratulate them, to offer your love and support, and to serve as witness as they begin their married life together. It is my custom to spend a few moments to add something a little different to the standard wedding ceremony, to give you a glimpse into how we all came to be here. Maddie and Randy have enthusiastically permitted me to reveal a few snippets about the adventures and times together that led them to fall in love and why they stayed in love. They have been together for the last two and a half years, but they first met more than five years ago when their paths crossed as gamers. For you Generation X folks and older, I will share what I have learned about gamers. A gamer is one who is a devoted and some are fanatical and skilled video game player that can play by themselves against the game or they can play against another person or they can play as a part of a team against other teams. Some teams are amateur and some are professional. Gaming involves role playing and can involve an international community with leagues and tournaments. Significant money can be made, much like pro athletes. During Maddie and Randy's first encounters, there was a spark with some promising moments. But nothing serious developed before Randy had to go back to Texas A&M. It just wasn't their time yet. But the spark never went out. It is unique and fascinating how each courtship begins and progresses. Maddie and Randy's highlight reel is right up there with the best of them. A few gold nuggets will help you to understand the essence of their romance. Two and a half years ago, after Randy returned, they reconnected again as gamers. They were cautious at first, not knowing where they stood, so they spent time around groups of friends. One night, on a spur-of-the-moment impulse, Maddie and Randy and two guy friends took off for the Oklahoma border and spent the evening and much of the morning at the Windstar Casino. Exhausted, they took a pre-dawn nap followed by breakfast before heading back to Texas. Thus, the spark reignited. Then there was the night that started at a honky-tonk in the Fort Worth stockyards, followed by the two of them driving into the country and exploring a spooky abandoned meat processing plant. Going back to the car, they were stalked by a wolf, and in their run to the car, they fell into a hole. Reminds me of a bad movie or maybe a Bud Light commercial. There are more moments like these, but you get the picture. But there are also loving moments when they would go picking wildflowers and mounting them in scrapbooks, and they would read poetry together. And then for Randy, there came playtime with Maddie's daughter, Everly. She adores Randy, parentheses, the feeling is mutual. And she's been looking forward to this upcoming moment where her mommy and Randy are married, making Randy and Daddy the same person. Randy loves Maddie's persistent, focused drive toward her goals and her pure joy of life. 
of Randy's many qualities that Maddie listed for me, one of her favorites is how he honors her values, even to the point of adopting her vegetarian beliefs. Another is his steady logical approach, which he appreciates because it balances her random impulsiveness. Randy credits this quality to the way his mother Daisy raised him during some trying times. He observed and admired her strength and her selflessness, selflessness and sacrifice during times of struggle, and he learned from that. Maddie and Randy have already lived a lot of life. All this being said, they look so young. They are young. But the maturity of their relationship is deep. And their awareness of the serious step they are taking and the trials they will face rival those of couples a decade or two older. Now I'm done and let's get on with the joyful order of the day, marrying these two marvelous people. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. The ceremony will not sustain your marriage. Only you can do that through love and patience, through steadfast dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening helping and supporting and believing in each other through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and letting go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is to witness and affirm this choice you make. Randy, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? to live together in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only to her so long as you both shall live? I will. Maddie, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him? comfort him, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only to him so long as you both shall live. Yes, I will. <laughs> Maddie and Randy have written their own vows, and now they're going to read them to each other. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> you, my love, are my everything. Your presence fills my days with joy and love I never fathomed. It's surreal that we're transitioning from happily right now to happily ever after. So standing before you and everyone we hold dear, I wholeheartedly accept the challenge of a lifetime to strive each day to, to the match the happiness you bring me. I, prom I promise a love that's ever growing a devotion that knows no bounds. I pledge to stand by your side and confront challenges as a united front. Through the highs, I hold you close. Through the lows, even closer. Your hand in mine will navigate this journey and I'll never let go. Together, we'll create memories and capture them in countless photographs. From elating joys to somber moments, I'll be by your side, relishing every instant. Our video game nights, our car karaoke sessions, our walks in the park, these everyday marvels will forever hold a special place in my heart. After all, every night is a date night. Today's, vow aren't, today's vows are not mere promises, they're privileges. I'm privileged to stand here to cherish the woman you are and the wife you'll be and the person you aspire to become. My love for you transcends words, finding my expression in cuddles, pinky swears, and years of shared happiness. I promise that this love is unique and irreplaceable and I'll guide all my choices through every moment from now to eternity. Who would have known after meeting five years ago on Minecraft, we would end up here? I think in the back of my head, I always knew. People say love is hard, but loving you is by far the easiest thing I have ever done. 
You have single-handedly deconstructed the brick wall I was once encased in, and you have softened me. You have taught me that tenderness is just as important as being tough, how to trust in a world that is unforgiving, and most importantly, that I am more than capable of being loved fully and completely. You are my best friend, Brandy Crowley. And I don't just say that for the cliche, you truly are my best friend. They say that marriage is 50-50, but I have come to realize through loving you that sometimes love is 60-40, 30-70, or even 199. I promise <laughs> to make sure that we always reach 100 together, even if that means I am giving 99. I fully commit myself to you. As a child, when I would look up at the sky and see the light-filled pinholes staring back at me, I always felt like something was missing. It evoked this odd sense of melancholy, longing, but I never knew what I was lacking. That is until the night we laid on the cold concrete dam of the pond next to my childhood home and we stared up at the night sky. I no longer felt that initial sense of longing. I felt whole and that's when I knew it was you, not some otherworldly component, which our love sometimes feels like. But you, you are what I have lacked all these years. You hold the other half of my soul. I can truly say that you are my other half. I have loved you since the day I met you. My soul has loved you since the day it was born. And with that being said, I vow to continue to push you as a person, to never give up. <laughs> Sorry. I vow to not only stand by you through the good, but the bad and stand proudly through both. I vow to always go on adventures with you. I vow to always cherish what we have and hold you in high regard. I vow to forever be faithful to you. I vow to not only love you, but commit to loving you. Not only life, but in death, because not even death can do his part. Now Randy has vows he wants to read to Everly. Everly? I stand before you with a heart full of love, ready to, make this prom ready to make these promises to you. I promise that no matter where life takes us, I will always be there to hold your hand as we, step down, as we skip down the street, sharing moments of joy and bringing comfort to your days. I'll cherish the bedtime stories we share, making sure to tuck you in tightly and creating a world with warmth and safety as you grow older. But above all, I want you to know that my promise to protect you and care for you and love you is unwavering and everlasting. You are not just my daughter, but a cherished part of my life, and I'll be here for you through every twist and turn that life brings our way. So today, I make these vows to you, my whole heart. I love you. I'm gonna take her back down. Now we'll have the ring exchange. Thank you, security. After the exchange of these rings, you will wear them as reminders of, your, of the love you share and the vows you make on this day. Your rings are a never-ending circle. They are the perfect symbol of the never-ending love, devotion, and commitment which you have promised to one another. Randy, as you place the ring on her finger, repeat after me. May this ring always be to you, May this ring always be to you. A token of my growing love and devotion. A token for my growing love and devotion. With this ring, 
I thee wed. For this ring I thee wed. Take his, be careful. Maddie, as you place the ring on his finger, repeat after me. May this ring always be to you. May this ring always be to you. A token of my growing love and devotion. A token of my lo growing love and devotion. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Maddie and Randy, you came here today to affirm your love for one another and to formally acknowledge that which your hearts already knew, that your lives are meant to be shared as one, that you are stronger together than you are apart, and that for all your days yet to come, you wish to share together all of life's joys and challenges committed to one another. With these vows of love and trust that we have heard and the exchanging of the rings that we have witnessed, it is my distinct honor and personal pleasure to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Randy Crowley. Now you may share your first kiss as a married couple. Thank you. 